I've made games using lots of different platforms. Unity, Roblox, uh, Scratch. Okay, maybe I tend to stick to what I know when it comes to making games, but today, I intend to change that. I've decided to make a game as a web page. If you don't know, web pages consist of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These three languages come together to make every page you visit on the internet. However, they weren't really designed for game making, so this will probably be quite a challenge. Anyway, enough talk, on with the video. Alright, I'm in Visual Studio Code right now, and I'm gonna make a game in the web. Alright, this is the website so far. Nothing. So, uh, yeah, gonna have to add some stuff. After around 20 minutes of fiddling around with JavaScript, I managed to get a cube jumping when I press space. Okay, now what we're gonna do, now that we have our jumping cube, is we're gonna, um, try and add in some enemies. After I got character movement working, I decided to start working on some enemies for the game since Flappy Bird has these pipes that you've got to avoid and I figured I'd add that into my game because it's Flappy Bird and I need to add all the features it has. Alright, I've basically gotten enemies working but there's one really annoying problem. As soon as one spawns in, my character just freezes in place. I have no idea why, but I need to fix that tomorrow. Other than that, enemies are working though, so yeah, that's good. The next day I spent around half an hour trying to figure out why the player couldn't move with enemies on screen. Eventually I fixed it just by moving the code that spawns the player into a different area of the script. No idea how that fixed it, but it works. Oh, I fixed it by moving stuff around. That's so bizarre. I don't even know how that actually fixed it, but uh, I ain't complaining, so whatever. After finally getting the enemies working, I decided to make the enemies look like the pipes in Flappy Bird instead of just being random cubes because, you know, it's Flappy Bird. I gotta make it look like the actual game I'm trying to make. You know what, this is actually starting to look like a game. We just need to add a death and a respawn and a score, and then that's a game. But yeah, uh, this is starting to look not terrible, so cool. Next I added a score counter since Flappy Bird has a score, and I figured the game would be pretty boring if it didn't have a score counter, so I added one in. Now we just have to make it so you can die, and then we're basically done with the game. Alright, so I got enemy collision working. Basically the way it works is it looks at the enemy's positions and looks at the player's positions, and if they line up, then you die. Alright, yep, alright, I'm gonna add some textures in now because the game works, it's, it's done, so like, I'm gonna add textures in because it'd be cool. I spent some time drawing up textures for my game, and here's what the final product looks like. Alright, here's my game, I'm pretty happy with it since it's the first game I've made in JavaScript. It only took three hours as well. Anyway, this is the end of the video, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, it would be really cool if you subscribed. Anyway, until next time, goodbye.